As we get closer and closer to the end of WandaVision, a lot of fans are starting to shift their focus forward to what comes next. That being the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, the next chapter in the story of Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes, exploring Sam's journey to come to terms with the idea of taking up the mantle of Captain America. Standing in the way of our heroes, though, is Helmet Zemo. Now, Zemo is a returning baddie, having first appeared in Captain America Civil War, so he does have a history with both Sam and especially Bucky. But how could that play into the upcoming show? And how exactly is it that he's running around causing trouble at all? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at what we know about Zemo, including doing a brief dive into his comic origins to see what we can glean from the version on the page. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Okay, so let's start this video off with what we know about Zemo within the MCU as things stand as of the recording of this voiceover, at least seems to be the most logical place to start. If you are an MCU diehard, you'll probably know most of this stuff already, but just hang tight, I've got some new stuff for you soon. Zemo made his debut in the third Captain America film, Captain America Civil War, where he was revealed to be a former Sokovian Special Forces operative who sadly lost his family as a result of the Avengers battle with Ultron during Avengers Age of Ultron. Because of this, he swore vengeance on the super team. However, because the Avengers were you yeah, know, superheroes, he figured he couldn't take them on directly, probably rightly so. Instead, he planned on destroying them from the inside out, using Bucky Barnes specifically to do so. And he kind of succeeded, as he managed to play Captain America and Iron Man against each other. However, in the process, he was captured by T'Challa, who turned him over to the Joint Counter-Terrorist Center, a global counter-terrorism organization affiliated with the CIA. And that was the last place that we saw Zemo. However, it would seem that he's now on the loose once again, as the trailers for Falcon and the Winter Soldier show him causing trouble for Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes, and rocking a pretty swanky mask. Now, the comic version of Zemo is a tad bit different from the one we got on the screen. Baron Helmet Zemo first appeared in Captain America number 168 back in 1973, where he very briefly went under the alias The Phoenix. This version of Zemo was actually German and not Sokovian, and was a major member of Hydra, which of course put him in direct conflict with Cap. In fact, for quite a while on the page, he was actually the leader of the evil organization. So it seems that no matter which version of Zemo you're looking at, the character is a schemer, a planner, someone who is capable of manipulating people and situations to his advantage. So how could he factor into Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Well, from the looks of things, the show appears to be pulling pretty heavily from a comic arc from the late 80s, where Steve Rogers stepped down as Captain America and was replaced by a man named John Walker, AKA US Agent. Now, these two caps did eventually come into conflict, but the true villain of it all was actually Red Skull, who had infiltrated the US government and tried to manipulate Walker into destroying the public image of Captain America so badly that it would be beyond repair. Meanwhile, he was working with and funding terrorist organizations, such as Ultimatum, led by the evil Flag Smasher, who we are apparently getting in the show. So what if Zemo is basically going to be filling in the role that Red Skull played in that original arc, being the one pulling the strings in the background and instigating the conflict between the government sanctioned Captain America replacement and Sam Wilson? as well as whatever Flag Smasher's doing. It would definitely fit his MO. But of course, there is still the question of how he escaped JCTC custody. And I think I have a solution for that. What if Zemo has been working with the CIA for a while now? The spy agency has, historically, turned enemies into valuable assets. And with someone as cunning as Zemo, I could see them attempting just that. So maybe he's had a certain amount of freedom for a while and now he's using the resources he's gained working within the CIA to continue his quest for vengeance. It's a possibility, but either way, Helmet Zemo is sure to be a thorn in the side of both Sam Wilson and Bucky Barnes when he returns to the screen in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And I, for one, cannot wait to see what the show has in store for us. Disney Plus has so far crushed it when it comes to their original programming. So I'm pretty hyped to say the least. Of course, there are any number of ways that Zemo could have gotten out of JCTC custody. I mean, there was a lot that could have happened in the years between when he was initially incarcerated and the end of Endgame. You know, there was that whole snap thing. 